Hi, this is Andy at Walwasy Boat Company. We're gonna take a quick tour behind me, 2023 Four Winds H2 Bow Rider. So let's go take a look. As I just mentioned, this is a 2023 Four Winds H2 Bow Rider. It's navy blue and cognac. It's a real pretty boat with a cognac interior. It's got a nice storage, anchor storage compartment right here on the front deck. Plenty of storage down in there. It says docking lights. You can see where your horn is, navigation lights, pull up cleats. So you can see we've got this tongue, it's a swing tongue. It's already swung. So you can get a real nice example. The front of the boat's right there. So it's only about six inches longer on the trailer than without. It's a tandem axle trailer with brakes on both axles. Let's do a quick, you see the shine on this boat. It's a beautiful boat. Got your gas fill right here. One of the nice things about the H series is how large that swim platform is enormous. So it really is nice because you get a nice big usable swim platform without the need for an extended platform, which sometimes depending on the boat takes away from the, the look of the boat. This has the 4.5 liter Mercruiser V6. Uh, it has the Bravo 3 stern drive, so it's, you can see it's got twin props, so they counter rotate. You can see how they turn opposite directions. That just gives you a really good bite on the water and gives you a better hole shot. Allows you to get plenty of power for pulling skiers and keeping the boat on plane without having to go to a big engine that uses more fuel. So you've got your ski tow belt in right there. Got a nice big fold down ladder. Let me back this up a little bit here. This opens up. One of the Four Winds has one of the best boarding ladders on the market in terms of actual functional functionality, I guess is the word. And see how that goes almost to the ground and it's four feet off the ground. You got one, two, three, four, and then your fifth step onto the boat. You close this. Then when you climb up, you can grab right here to pull yourself on. This has dual access. This flips up on this side, so you can see your walkthrough. This side does the same thing. Flips up, another thing you can do, you can see the leg right here, you flip the leg down, try and do this one-handed. Set it right like that. Let's get a nice look here. And that gives you like a chaise lounge option. Fold this back down. So when you're laying out at the sandbar, you even got built-in cup holders there right next to you. So it makes a really nice setup when you're spending a day on the lake. All right, let's take a look inside the boat. Got a storage compartment right here. This opens up. You've got storage here. You've got, this is to trim and tilt your lower units. When it's out of the water, you don't have to climb all the way in the boat to put your motor up and down to go in the garage. You can see where the cushions are removable so you can walk into the boat without stepping on the upholstery. We can close that back down. You've got cushion. This opens right here. I'll show you there. Got a trash can built in right there, which is really nice. So you always need to throw things away on a boat. You don't want to blow it around all day or blow it in the lake. Don't want to pollute the lake. Another compartment here. They've got the owner's manual in there for shipping. Got a compartment right across the front here. That's the bow and cockpit cover is where it wells the battery switch back there. Moving across. This is removable as well. So if you're entering from this side, you can step there. You've just got more storage. And there's a cooler built, and it's a removable cooler, but they got a built-in location for it. So let's uh, fold this down. So you've got more storage on this side as well. And then you do have a 12 volt charging port. So that's really nice either if you want to charge your phone back there, or if you have a uh, inflator to blow up an inner tube, you can plug it in. You don't have to run it all the way to the front dash. That's a nice feature. The engine compartment so you get a lot of room which is nice the mechanics always love that you can see where the storage compartment there has a bag that everything hangs in so it keeps it out of the motor and same thing as well over here i don't know if i can turn more of a light on or not but your dual batteries they go right in over here it's hard to see down here in the dark i can see the through hole for the depth finder and the and the uh, bilge pump down there in the bottom but again it's a 4.3 multi-port fuel injected Mercruiser with the dual prop 
Mercruiser Bravo 3 outdrive. Swinging around to the dash here. This comes with the Simrad screen. She gives you full digital instrumentation, which is really nice. And you've got digital shifting. So it's just gonna be like turning on a light switch in a car. You aren't pushing and pulling a cable, you're just moving wires in a rheostat. So you've got a lot of, uh, in your tilt and trim, everything's right there. This has the uh, kicker Bluetooth stereo system. Got all your switches, you got horn, nav, courtesy lights, docking lights, bilge pump. And it's got, uh, that's a tower, but you don't have a tower on this boat. And it's some extra accessories. If you added anything, you've got a place to put the switch. Over on this side, well, one of the nice things Four Winds does, right now this seat is in the rear facing position, but it very easily moves this way. And now you can see how it's forward facing. And this even has a flip up bolster on it. So you can sit there and look over the bow if you need to. Or if you just wanna sit and be comfortable, you can sit like this. If you're pulling a skier, you can flip it the other way so you can stretch your legs out and watch the skier. Got a glove box right up here. Got more storage down in here. In the floor here where this cutout is, this opens up. You've got a handle you can grab here. It's got a huge, on a gas shock, you can see how easy it holds it out of the way. You can load your skis in there, it goes all the way up in. It's very deep, it's probably a foot and a half deep. Those are the poles for the bow and cockpit covers. Driver's seat has that has the same similar type of system with the flip up bolster. Gives you a little more room if you want to stand or just to be boosted up so you can see over the bow if you're cruising at slower speeds or have a lot of people sitting in front of you. Up here in the bow, this is extremely deep. These will, everything opens up for storage. We've got more storage under here, under here, and under here. I think we already looked at it, but you've got anchor locker storage in the front there. When you're sitting up here, I can stretch my legs all the way out. I'm five foot 10, I'm not a basketball player, but I can comfortably sit up here. And you can see how my shoulders, it's just, I'm nice and deep. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm gonna fly out of the boat. The speaker's in the bow as well. This has the two piece bow and cockpit cover. The bow cover will encompass these snaps up here to close off the bow. Cockpit cover has snaps that go around. It covers over the windshield and all the way over all the upholstery and has poles in the middle there that hold it up and one in the front. Yeah, this cognac interior is just beautiful. But if you have any other questions about this boat or any other four winds or any other boat that we have in inventory or on order, uh, please feel free to get a hold of us. We'd love to discuss it in more detail with you. We appreciate you viewing this video. We look forward to discussing it more with you in the future. Thank you.